up, Liz Hyatt's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today, I'll be eating South Africa. And this will be my very first taste of South Africa, and it comes to me from lovely Miss L. Miss L, thank you so much for sending me this package of treats. The last time she went home, she brought me back all these treats, so thanks so much for filling up your suitcase with a bunch of snacks for me to try. And if you're new to Emmy Eats, consider subscribing. All right, let's eat. Miss L sent me a variety of sweet and savory snacks, so I shall alternate so I can show them all to you. So let's start with these little biscuits, and these are made by bakers, and they're called mini tennis biscuits. Miss L included a few notes, and she said these biscuits, these tennis biscuits, are used in a recipe to make a peppermint crisp tart, which sounds amazing, and they use these cookies for the crust. Look how charming they are. They've got these little pinwheels on them. They're so cute. Dilakimasu. Mmm! And those are nice little biscuits. They're actually coconutty. It has a texture of like a Nella wafer or like a biscuit type cookie, but the flavor is lovely. It's coconutty and buttery and scrumptious. Mm -hmm. Next we have, looks like a candy bar, and it's called a lunch bar. It looks like it's celebrating 50 years, and it's made by Cadbury. Look at that. And let's see what's inside. Ooh, there we go. Mm hmm. So, if you watched any of my videos at all, you may have noticed that each country seems to have their version of a wafer bar thin wafer kind of cracker cookie with a little bit of cream and sometimes coated in chocolate. Every country seems to have it, and this version is excellent. There's a little bit of wafer in the middle, just about two or three layers of wafer with some cream, and the entire thing is coated with a coat of caramel and then peanuts, crispy rice bits, and chocolate. It's delicious. All right, next we have a savory snack, and this is called knickknacks. I had a treat from Germany that had the same name, but I think this is gonna be a completely different snack. The knickknacks that I had in Germany, I think it was my first Emmy Eats video. I'll put that link down below. I believe they were peanut snacks. Knickknacks, and they are maize snack, meaning means corn, and they're flavored with cheese. Oh, wow! <laughs> That's great. So I just mentioned that each country seems to have their own version of a wafer bar, but they seem to also have their own version of a cheese puff or cheese doodle or Cheeto. I've seen them everywhere and they're all delicious. They look a lot like a crunchy Cheeto and yeah, let's give that a taste. And they smell like Cheetos too. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. And it's just like a Cheeto, same crunchy corn base and coated in an orange cheesy coating that has just a touch of sweetness to it. Delicious. If I was blindfolded, I think it would be difficult for me to determine which one would be the real Cheeto. It's so close to a real Cheeto. Now we're gonna go back to sweet, and this is made by the Mr. Sweet Company, and these are called Rascals. <laughs> and it looks like this is wild berry flavor, candy-coated berry flavored chews, little mischief makers. That is my son in a nutshell. He is a rascal. Oh, here they are. So they are a little bit like Skittles. They seem to be candy-coated. All right, let's give this bright blue one a taste. Here we go. Mmm. That's blue raspberry. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a blue icy. <laughs> very artificial flavor, but delicious. Very, very similar to a Skittle. Chewy, kind of starburst chew in the middle with a light candy coating on the outside. Let's try a pink one. Mmm. Pink is. I think pink might be strawberry. It's a little bit tart. I like it. Next, I have this. And this is called Pex and Choviette. It's a fish paste. Look at this little jar. And it says it's very high on omega-3 since 1891. When you look at this graphic design, I love it. So this looks like some kind of fish spread, which reminds me of a spread that I had in my Emmy Eats UK, I believe part seven. And Harold sent me a spread and it was called Patsum Pepperum. And it was a really strong anchovy paste that you had on toast and it was delicious. So, I wonder if this is similar. Let's see. Okay. Opens up like a baby food jar. Oh, it smells quite strong. It smells like those sardines packed in tomato sauce, you know, those cylindrical tins. I'm not sure how you're supposed to eat this, but I'm gonna have a little on a cracker. All right, let's give that a taste. Here we go. It's the lucky moles. Mmm. And it tastes just like those tins of sardines. Delicious. Mm-hmm. 
It's got a quite a strong fishy flavor, not as strong as the Patum Pepperum. The Patum Pepperum tasted more like fish sauce. It definitely had a strong fermented flavor to it and quite salty. This is not nearly as salty and it tastes more like tuna fish or sardines in the sense that it's fishy and tinned, but not fermented. It does have a bit of a metallic kind of calcium flavor to it that I associate with small fish, but it's delicious. South African friends, do chime in and tell me in the comments below how this is normally eaten. Is it eaten on sandwiches, on crackers, with cheese? Let me know. Next, we're gonna have something sweet, and this is called a tempo bar. And this too is made by Cadbury, and but made by Mondelez, or Mondelez. There's a beautiful bar. Oh, because it has a really thick caramel layer. Oh, ah. Mmm. <laughs> It's quite sweet. You've got a lot of chocolate in there, a thick caramel layer. It's a little bit crunchy and then kind of softens up and gets chewy as you eat it. And then in the middle, you've got all these little crunchy biscuit pieces. Delicious. Next, we have another baker's product. I think they're cookies or crackers. I'm not sure. They're called Mini Eat Some More. Isn't that a great name? And very sweet little charming shortbreads. All right, let's give them a taste. Mmm. And that's what they are. They're little shortbread cookies buttery, crumbly, and crunchy with just a light little bit of sweetness to them. Very, very lightly sweetened. Quite nice. I think it would go perfect with a cup of black tea. Yum! Next we have Bar One, and this is made by the Nestle Company, and it says for a 25 hour day. So maybe there's some caffeine or some kind of pick you up in that besides the sugar. And Miss Elle says this is her favorite. So Bar One by Nestle. I know you Brits say Nestle. I've always pronounced it Nestle, but I'm an American, so what do I know? <laughs> oh, look at that. So, nice caramel layer. Looks like there's some nougat, and the whole thing is wrapped in chocolate. Oh, it smells like a Mars bar. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's more like a Milky Way bar rather than Mars bar. I think Mars bars has actually some almonds in there. This is like a Milky Way bar. The nougat is fluffy and chewy, and you've got the caramel layer that's chewy and sticky and sweet as well. And then, you know, chocolate. How can you go wrong? And that's called Bar One. And this is made by the Beacon Company, and it's called a Fizza, or a Fizzer. This looks very similar to some sweets that I had in the UK. What are they called? I think, that, um, are they called sherbet sticks? My UK friends do let me know because I've forgotten the name, but I had something quite similar to this in the UK. But this is made in South Africa, and this is Fizzer and it's cream soda flavor. Unwrap that. Oh, it's a taffy. All right, let's give that a taste. Mmm. It's chewy and sticky like a taffy. So it's not at all like the UK sherbet candy that I remember. It's quite sticky, but towards the end it gets nice and tart. And it says it's cream soda flavor, but to me, it tastes more like lemon lime. Mm. I'm trying to wait for it to see if there's any fizziness. I don't detect any fizzing. Is it supposed to fizz or foam or sizzle or anything like that? I don't feel any of that. It's just a sticky, kind of like saltwater taffy with a nice little punch of acidity to it. Great. And a different take on cream soda. My associations with cream soda in the States, it's more like a vanilla cream. This is more like lemon lime to me. But delicious. I like that. Fizzer. Next, we have a familiar brand, and this is called Fritos. And we have these here in the States, but I have never seen this flavor before. This is tomato flavored Fritos. Ooh, they smell like ketchup. Wow. Okay, wow. There are the Fritos, and they look very familiar. Little rectangles that are curled, but coated in this red powder. Wow. Wow, those are good. Mm-hmm. And it's the same Frito chip, corn base, kind of coarse in texture, very, very corny in flavor and crunchy as you can hear. But these are coated with a tomato powder that tastes tomatoey and ketchupy, and they're a little bit sour. Just a little bit. I think I like these better than regular Fritos. And this is called a Nestle Peppermint Crisp. Miss L says, we used to eat off all the chocolate and drink milk through the mint straws. Huh, I wonder if I can figure that out. Yes. Oh, I see what she's talking about. Look at that, there's the straws. 
Let's have it this way first. Look, it's bright green in the middle. Oh, it smells great. Nice and minty. You can see all the way through it. Amazing. Wow! That is delightful. It's a really great peppermint chocolate combination. The pepperminty is nice and zingy and assertive and really stands up to the sweet milk chocolate. The texture is crisp and crunchy, very similar to like a Rice Krispie, but it's candied peppermint instead of Rice Krispie. It's awesome. So it's a little bit sticky at the very end, but it's delicious. So I got myself some unsweetened almond milk. So this is similar to a Tim Tam Slam without the timming or the tamming or the slamming. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, I'll put that link down below. It's an Australian cookie called a Tim Tam and you bite two ends of it and you drink like a beverage through it. So, all right, let's try it with milk. Here we go. Amazing. I love it, I love it. Oh, and you can hear it go down my belly. <laughs> Okay, so the second time around, it's starting to melt some of the interior, so I'm tasting some of the mint, but it's just like a straw. And you can just suck the milk all the way through. That's amazing. I love it. All right, so that wraps up my little taste of South Africa. Miss L, thank you so much for thinking me on your last trip home and for bringing me back all these treats. This peppermint crisp blew my mind. It was amazing. Thank you so much for sending that to me. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know if any of these candies are familiar to you. If you did fun things like the peppermint crisp and drink through a straw with them or anything, let me know because I want to try all those kinds of fun things with candies as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs> So a few videos back, I asked you guys to send me some questions you had for me via social media, and here I am today to answer them for you. I'm trying to make the most attractive face for you.